today I have my September cruelty free, cruelty free favorite. Finally, I'm sorry it's late. As y'all know, the last few, the last couple weeks have been crazy. Um, so I have all this stuff in a bag, and I'm just gonna get to it right away. The first thing I have is the seventh generation Ultra Power Plus with added plant technology, stain lifting enzymes. Um, it is usually $13.99. For some reason, it was on sale for six. 48. I'm not sure why because now it's back at regular price at Target, but I'm happy I got it for this price when I did. I do not like the seventh generation, like the basic laundry cleaner they have that's just like, um, it's like a lavender one. I don't like it. I didn't find that it worked well. I was not a fan of it. But I wanted to try this because it's all, you know, Ultra Power Plus and it works really, really well. Now it is unscented. You're not going to have any like nice scents or anything like that from it but I think it is perfect for like when we have the baby I still can't believe I'm having a baby like you know I think it's a good option um, besides draft because I don't think draft is cruelty free I think I'm saying that right but um I definitely do like it it works well it um I used it it's free and clear so I used it on some of the dog stuff as well that usually stinks and is gross and gets stained and it worked really well and Ralph has really bad allergies and some detergents break him out into like hives but this didn't so this stuff is awesome up next I wouldn't say is a love it is a like it definitely works better than the seventh generation pods it is the Miss Myers clean day aromatherapy um, and this is the lemon verbena I don't know if I'm saying that right but um, it's not really that aromatherapy ish if you know what I mean I it didn't like come out of my washer like my kitchen smelled like this or anything like that it works well I will say that the reason it's a like not a love is it is really expensive for 20 of these it was $8.99 the method pods I had last month worked pretty much the same um, and they were cheaper now this left no residue behind sometimes a seventh generation one does um, and just to let you guys know, with all of these natural dish pods or whatever that I use, I am using the seventh generation. It's like um, a rinse aid. It's kind of like Cascade, but a natural one. And so I do use that. Um, I don't really have any problems with residue and it might be because of that. It might not. I don't know. I just wanted to throw that in there so you guys knew. This stuff works. It works well. I wouldn't say it's like aromatherapy for my kitchen but um, it does work better than the seventh generation pods, but about the same as the cheaper method tablets. The next one for me, I'm gonna label as a dislike, and um, it's not that it's horrible or something like that, it's just not something I loved. I would not buy this again. Um, it is the Burt's Bees Soy Wax Melt, and the reason it is a dislike for me for wax melts, I feel like they should at least take up the room that they're in. I should be able to walk in the room and smell it. And with these, I used two of the melts in my wax warmer. And you have to be very careful because with some wax warmers, you can't use this. Like really high heat wax warmers, this will burn because soy melts a lot faster and quicker. So you couldn't really use it with a high heat one, but I have like a lower heat one. But you guys, it smelled really good, but it didn't even take up the whole living room like most melts and stuff would. So I don't know, maybe in a bathroom it would be okay, but I was really disappointed by this. And I really didn't like any of their scents. Me and Justin wanted to try this because I've seen it in Walmart and I've had several people email me about it, like had I tried it, what I thought about it. Um, I usually like the Burt's Bees products, but I ended up using this and I did not like it. Um, Justin and I stood in the section and smelled all the scents and the fresh farm farm fresh apple was the only one bye Ralph Ralph's just walking around the farm fresh apple was the only one that we were like yeah it smells good it's not a bad scent it's not like my favorite scent in the world it smells like you know it kind of smells like a little bit like the old school 90s um, what was that apple spray from baths and body works that they're bringing back you guys know what I'm talking about it kind of smells like that so I don't mind it but, and then at the same time, it kind of smells a little cinnamony, which I don't like, but it, it's a nice scent, but it doesn't work well, so it is a dislike. We'll just move on to the next dislike. Now, this could become a like when I have a baby, 
There are reasons I dislike this that might not be reasons that matter once I have a baby, so I want to be clear on this. I dislike these wipes. Y'all know I buy baby wipes for the dogs. And in comparison to like seventh generation, I do not like these Baby Gannix face hand baby wipes, fragrance free, plant based, blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, they might work really great on people and I'm gonna give them another shot once we have the baby. But I really prefer the seventh generation wipes to this. I went ahead and bought it because I was like, you know, it's cruelty free, I should try it. I always keep wipes by the back door for the dogs and I wipe their paws when they come in. And this is gross, but um, <laughs> my dogs have you know, gland issues sometimes, so I wipe their butts sometimes. TMI, but let's just put it out there. Anyway, um, they're, not, they're just lazy about licking their own ass, and I'm really OCD, so if I'm going to let them in our bed, um, even though we have a dog blanket or on the furniture, I wipe their paws and their bums sometimes with the bums. Not always with the bums, but you know what I mean. Anyway, so um, the reason I didn't like these is I feel like the seven generation ones were bigger and wider, and I actually bought a bunch at Bye Bye Baby recently because they were on sale, but this is just like thinner. It's maybe a little smaller than the seventh generation ones, but the seventh generation ones are quilted and they're just like, I could wipe probably three of Ralph's paws with one of these, with the seventh generation one of these. With this Baby Gannix one, I couldn't even get two wipes, like two of his paws. Um, so I feel like the seventh generation was better and I just really dislike these for the dogs. Like I said, was actually on a tiny little human butt, you know, it might be fabulous and I will give it another shot and if I love it for baby, then I will bring it back up in a cruelty free favorite sometime after June 2016. Um, so yeah, but for my pets, I really don't like these baby Gannick wipes. The next thing is something else I got on clearance and I also used the Cartwheel app from Target. If you guys don't have that, it is like an app where stuff can be on sale or clearance and you can still get discounts on it. So it was like 20% off of um, this brand, which is the J.R. Watkins brand. And then it was on clearance for from $12 to $8.38. 8 so this is the J.R. I'm trying to pull a sticker off. And I've been meaning to go get more of this, which I probably will today. Um, this is the J.R. Watkins white cream liniment. I keep liniment. I think I'm saying it right. I'm probably saying it wrong. I don't know if you guys can see. I tried to say it when I first got it with Justin. He was like, oh, you're not saying it right. But anyway, so it's a cooling camphor lotion. Probably not saying that right either. Um, based on the Watkins time-tested red lin liniments. <laughs> No. Okay, so it provides fast acting temporary relief for minor aches, pains associated with simple back ache, arthritis, muscle strain, and sprains. Um, simply rub in and feel better. So I got this because I keep call we joke around, we call it my leg tonic. I have this big, I'll insert a picture. So I have had that vein busted like in my leg since I was 16 and like this like like skinny you know and I was a dancer and I always had to cover it with makeup because my dance teacher would always comment on it which looking back is so shitty like when we didn't have hose on and sometimes you could see it through my hose she would get real annoyed with it she was kind of a bitch but um and then everyone would always my whole life be like oh what's that bruise on your leg what's that bruise on your leg like varicose veins and stuff like that run in my family um, and vein problems like that. So I went one time to see about having it, the injections done, but they're like, we can do the injections there this much. And I was younger and they're like, but it will probably come back in a different spot or we can like burn out the vein. Um, but your insurance won't cover it. So that's like $2,000. So I never went back. And the funny thing is I was about to go back and like get it reevaluated and get the price so I could save for the surgery. And then I found out I was pregnant. So I guess I'll put that off till after the baby's due. But something that's always bothered me and it 
causes a lot of pain that's hard to describe like a throbbing but at the same time this like itching it's very weird it is a spider vein and a varicose vein under there it's very odd so when I saw this um, stuff on clearance at Target I was like oh maybe I'll use it try it for fibromyalgia and I have used it for some leg pain or like when your skin hurts really bad it just cools it it, it doesn't take away all the pain let's be real that's never gonna happen with fibro but you know when your skin hurts to touch, it kind of cools it and makes it more bearable. <laughs> like, I need to go buy, I wish they'd make like a jumbo size of it so I could just cover my body in it. So it does help a little bit with that and sore muscles. But the main thing I love about it is I can put it on this vein and rub it in and for like three hours, I have total relief from that itching, bulging, uncomfortable feeling from that vein. So this is a total love. If you guys have any like varicose veins or spider veins or anything, I would try this. Um, and if you have fibro, I mean, maybe try it on your sore muscles, I don't know. I've really been loving it, but we call it my leg tonic. <laughs> Next, I got another Schmitz deodorant this much. It is the Lang Lang and Colindula. Probably butchering that as well. Um, I, I think I have just not tried the unscented one now. That's the last one. This is a love, smelling it straight out of the jar. It smells like slightly floral, but like, I always felt like the lime one smelt better, but I decided I wanted to try all of them except the unscented, because I'm not really gonna buy unscented deodorant, that's just not me. Um, and they recently started making sticks, so you don't have to use a jar, which I'm looking forward to. They're already out online, but I'm waiting to buy them in the store because I don't like shopping online. But um, yeah, so, I think this is my favorite now because once it goes on and like melts into your body, it smells so florally to me and it smells really good mixed with my body chemistry. Um, whereas when I first put the lime one on, it smells a little weird for like 30 minutes while it's like blending, like I squirted lime juice on my pits, I don't know. Um, so this is now like my favorite Schmitz deodorant. And if you guys are new subscribers, this is the most amazing natural deodorant and it's so much better than regular deodorant too. I love this stuff. Okay, the next thing is the Dollar Tree find. It is the Milani Power Lip Lasting Moisturizing Gloss Stain. You guys have seen in some of my vlogs where I'm like, I hit this lip stain on my lips and I can't get it off. This stuff is legit and it was just a dollar and if I see more at the Dollar Tree, I will definitely be buying it but I've been loving it, especially for filming because usually I'm constantly reapplying stuff while I'm filming different videos. Next is my favorite hand soap, I think, of all time. This is like the Miss Myers Clean Day and I had never, the bottle is all like distorted, but I had never smelled the honeysuckle scent before and we were at Target, I'm like, oh look, honeysuckle. I usually like honeysuckle scents. You guys, this is like, Oh, it smells so good. It smells like honeysuckle, but like also like a, hmm. It's just a florally sweet scent, but also honeysuckle, but there's like this hint of sweetness. Like, I don't want to say like bake shop sweetness, but just something sweet, almost like, I don't know, almost like a little hint of sweet apple. I don't know, but it, it's, it's honeysuckle. You definitely smell the honeysuckle, but there's this like undertone of this like really sweet, I want to say like sweet kind of citrusy, but apple, I don't know. I'm not a smell connoisseur, but this stuff is awesome. We love it. I want to go buy another bottle of it for when this runs out, but then I won't be testing other hand soaps for you guys. So I don't know. I might buy this for my bathroom now or something and try other stuff. I, I don't know, but this is like my new favorite. I thought my new favorite was the Method, um, the Driftwood one. No, this is everything. The next thing I got two of, and it is definitely a love, it is the Baby Gannix Stain Eraser. So it's kind of like carrying those shot wipes or the stain pins. I have bought two bottles of this one. This one has not been opened. This one has not been opened. But it just has like a felty tip at the top and you kind of like press it on. I'm even carrying it with me like shot wipes or whatever, but when I spill food on me all the time. So like I said, I've been carrying it around and pressing it on stains and stuff, and it really helps a lot because I was really sad I couldn't carry my shout pin anymore or the shout wipes when I went cruelty free, but this is just as good and um, it's almost even better because it's kind of made, I feel like it's made for like 
baby vomit and it doesn't say that but um, I feel like it helps clean up baby stuff which is usually nasty stain stuff so it just works really well it's plant-based and it's cruelty free so it is a fave it's super cute too and easy to tote around this thing I went to sprouts and if you guys have a sprouts you might want to check this deal out so it was buy one get one free for these products and they're nine dollars a piece so I got twenty dollars worth of free products uh, so I got the nourish organic food for healthy skin moisturizing cream body wash in the almond and vanilla and this is USDA organic the other one is in lavender mint and um, I paid basically nine bucks for both of these where it would have been 20 this is like 9.99 so with this stuff it's organic it's not gonna be like super scented in the sense that like how do I explain it like an artificial scent if that makes sense um, for instance this almond vanilla you smell like sweet almond stuff and usually the time it's like an artificial kind of smell whereas this smells like if you've ever smelled almond oil sweet almond oil you you expect it like the first time somebody smells sweet almond oil they think it's going to smell like really sweet toasted almond or something but it's like a natural thing so it doesn't quite smell like what you think it would so it kind of smells like almond oil and it's weird, but it's kind of like almond oil body wash with the vanilla extract dumped in it, like the kind you eat. That's the best way I can describe it. So it's different. It's not going to be like a really fake bakery smell, but I really do like the scent. The other one is the lavender mint one. I didn't think I was going to love this one as much as I actually have been. I have been loving it for mornings when I shower in the mornings, just like waking up and it literally smells like what it says it smells like. It's just a good, clean, like mentally stimulating scent. I just went ahead and got two of the vanilla almond lotions as well. So again, I got two of these um, for $9.99 where it would have been like $20. Um, and again, just like the body wash, which I didn't say, but the body wash was super moisturizing. It really is. Um, this is a very natural smell with the natural almond oil smell, kind of like with vanilla extra extract. But this is really, really moisturizing. I really, really love it. So basically, anytime I get out of the shower with the body wash or if I have this lotion on, the dogs are all like, and then sometimes they'll lick my legs. I have to be like, don't do that, you know. But I think it's just like a natural, the, the stuff they use is just really natural and it's really moisturizing and it smells really good to me. Now, I wish I had known that the vanilla, or the vanilla, or no, the, I wish I had known that the lavender mint one smelled so good. I am actually might go back, because that sale was supposed to go on until October 20th, so I might go back and get some of uh, the vanilla, not the, I keep saying that, the lavender mint lotion. The last things I have, I kind of have talked about before on my channel. Actually, I'm gonna have an updated review because I've had so many requests about it. But Purador, you might have noticed that I have never tried another shampoo on any of these cruelty-free favorites videos, and that's because Purador is my jam. Like, I don't want to try anything else. Um, I have polycystic ovarian syndrome, and a very, very common symptom of that is hair loss. And when I started using Purador, it completely changed my hair. My hair stopped falling out as much. I mean, everyone loses hair a day, but my hair went to like normal person hair loss. And then I got Justin to start using it and he also stopped losing hair. He, and his hair started growing in his bald spot that he was getting. So we absolutely love this shampoo. Now I saw when I went to order more and I want you to know like, I have gotten some for free from the company when I first tried it, but I have spent my own money on these products. I want you to know like, I have spent plenty of my own money on Pure Door since then. I just want to make that very clear to you guys. I was using the um, blue bottle of the hair loss shampoo, but I saw online that they had this gold challenge, or I'll have to look it up again, but I started seeing people talk about this, and so I looked it up, and they had this new premium anti-hair loss shampoo that was like the gold. So I was like, oh my god, I need to try that. Um, so. I didn't think it could get better, but you guys you guys will just have to watch my review on it. I'll talk a lot on that about it, um, and that will probably come out tomorrow. 
I'll just make it a point for it to come out tomorrow so you guys can see it. But I don't want to spend this whole video talking about it and then do a review. But um, I do love the gold better than the blue and I didn't think that was possible. It is a little more expensive but this is like since it's a different version of it I thought I would throw it back in my cruelty free favorites. Um, I'm absolutely loving the gold and I'm still using the um, <clears throat> vanilla lavender conditioner which Justin loves this stuff like he doesn't use it in his hair um, we go through the shampoo faster because he shampoos every day and I shampoo like every other day with this but um, he whenever I have this in my hair he'll come up behind me and be like this is really funny he loves this stuff I love it it's amazing if you guys want to learn more about it I'll do that I'll have that review out for you guys tomorrow night and the very last part of it has been in my videos before it's their argon oil and um, I was using it on my hair when I did the first review on it, but since getting pregnant, my skin has dried out in really weird places, and I didn't want to use all the chemicals in that. I was using Instant Natural, and it's natural, but I really wanted something just basic on my skin. I love Instant Natural products. I still use their mud masks and stuff, but I was kind of scared to use stuff with retinol, you know? So um, I tried to put coconut oil on my face to moisturize. I do not like the smell of coconut oil anymore since I got pregnant. So I still like, well, this is for the face and I always just use it for my hair. I started using their argon oil, it's USDA organic, on my face and it has been amazing as a moisturizer. Alright guys, that is it for my cruelty free favorites for, that's a mouthful, cruelty free favorites for September 2015. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you later. Bye!